Fifi Dobson is returning to the music scene after almost a decade. Take a look. What you're listening to is her comeback single. It's from her new album titled Emotion Sickness. The album's release also marks the start of a cross Canada tour for Fifi. And she joins me this morning in studio with more on what's to come. It is great to have you here. Welcome. Thanks for having me. Okay, so Fifi, I read that you wrote this album in just two months after reconnecting with your management team during the pandemic. So what was that process like? Uh, we wrote a song called Hungover, and after that song was written, they were like, can you make a record in two weeks? And I was like, uh, not two weeks, but maybe two months. So we went to the Fairmont Royal York and basically penned the whole album there. What do those days look like? Well, first I have to get into trouble, so I have fun and with my <laughs> friends, and then I'm in the hotel room just writing and recording on a mic inside the room, and that's that. When you write an album like this, how many tracks do you, do you work towards? Do you just keep writing until the creativity runs out? Yeah, kind of, but I was in such a zone. I was going through a weird relationship, and finally realizing what I deserved and, you know, having all this different um, emotions. So that's why it's called Emotion Sickness, the new album, coming out Friday. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, it's uh, it, it's about that. And it was, it was easy that way because I was able to express myself. Yeah, you had the material. Yeah. Amazing. So for, aside from your own music, you've written songs that have then been sung by other major artists like Miley Cyrus and Selena Gomez. What is that like for you to, to hear the words that you've written, that you felt, coming out uh, of another singer's mouth? Well, first of all, those women are amazing. You know, even Jordan Sparks and all of the women that have um, been a part of my, I guess, catalog. Um, they're, I love hearing them sing about boyfriends gone wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. Is the process different for you, writing a song that you hope to sing versus a song that someone else might sing? Or is that process the same? Well, with Start All Over from Miley, that was actually a song written for my album, Sunday Love, and we decided not to put it on. But for like, Don't Let It Go To Your Head or As A Blonde, that was on Sunday Love, those were cover songs. But mm -hmm. they, they covered those songs from that album. In your career, you have rejected the idea of being placed into a box. I was listening to Jesse Cruikshank's podcast, and you talked about the, the fact that you'd been referred to as Brandy Spears mm. early in your career. The industry wanted to label you. They wanted to know exactly who you were and, mm. and tell you who you were. Right. So today, what is that process like? Are, are you taking back that ownership in your, in your career? Yeah, I've found a new sense of freedom and, you know, this album is really reflects that as well as just like, you know, the way I dress, my leather jackets, all the things that are me, my leather, my whatever my look is, it honestly is just a part of who I am and I try to be my most authentic self and be unapologetic about it. I think we all should, you know. Is there part of that that comes with just growing up and being a little bit older and knowing who you are? I found that as a, as a woman in my 30s, I'm able to stop and say, no, 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 this is who I am. I'm not going to say sorry for that anymore. Yeah, I think as you grow up, you realize and, and you got to go through those, those times, you know? I started really young. I was 17 years old with Take Me Away and Bye Bye Boyfriend. So I really had to grow up kind of quick. When you look at the artists today who are kind of dominating in the pop rock genre of names like Olivia Rodrigo and Willow Smith, right. when you look at them, they're in their early 20s. Is there anything that you'd say from your career, the learnings that you've had, the highs and lows you've had? It's okay to say no. I think that's a big one. You don't always have to do everything, you know? I, I was always afraid to say like, no, I, I'm too tired. I can't do that. Like, I'm, my head is spinning. And that, yes, it's a career and it's a business and you have to push through, but you also have to keep your health good, you know? You are about to head out on tour. Yeah. You are releasing this new music. You have a show here in Toronto coming up. So what can fans expect right across Canada? Well, on Friday at Elma Combo, I'll be playing 10 p.m. Uh, it's a wild show. I like to have a lot of fun, let my hair down. And uh, then the album will be released the same day. So let's do it. Let's do it. Right across Canada, you're kicking off in Vancouver in October. Mm -hmm. Fans can get tickets and see you back on stage. And we're glad to see you back on stage. Yes, ma'am. Fifi Dobson's new song and album, Emotion Sickness, is coming out on all streaming platforms on Friday. Make sure you take a listen. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.